Hi guys, it's Miss Sabrina. I miss you all. I hope you're having a really great day at home with your family. Um, I'm in my room <laughs> and I'm sad because we're missing Funny Friday. So I thought I'd make a fun video and read to you guys the book that I was going to read to you today. So today's Funny Friday book is Duck for President. So let's see what the story is about. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is covered from head to toe in hay. Horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. He doesn't smell very good either. The animals have chores to do too. The pigs clean under the beds, the cows weed the garden, the sheep sweep the barn, and Duck takes out the trash, mows the lawn, and grinds the coffee beans. At the end of each day, the pigs are covered in lint bunnies, the cows are covered in weeds, and the sheep are covered in dust. And Duck is covered in tiny bits of grass and espresso beans. Duck did not like to do chores. He did not like picking tiny bits of grass and espresso beans out of his feathers. Why is Farmer Brown in charge anyway, thought Duck. What we need is an election. He made a sign and hung it up in the barn. Farmer Brown must go. Farm election tomorrow. The next morning, Farmer Brown found a poster on his front door. Vote Duck for a kinder, gentler farm. Farmer Brown was furious. He ran to the barn and found the animals registering to vote. The mice got together and protested the height requirement, so Duck crossed it off. So it says voter registration. The voters must live on the farm, show ID, and have to be this tall. On election day, each of the animals filled out a ballot and placed it in a box. The vote was counted and the results were posted on the barn wall. Farmer Brown, six. Duck, 20. Farmer Brown demanded a recount. One sticky ballot was found stuck to the bottom of a pig. The new tally was Farmer Brown, six. Duck, 21. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. That silly pig. He was hiding a ballot. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, duck was covered from head to toe in hay, horse hair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. Running a farm is no fun at all, thought duck. That night, duck and his staff started working on duck's campaign for governor. That silly duck. Duck left Farmer Brown in charge and hit the campaign trail. He visited small town diners, he marched in parades, he went to town meetings, he gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the state. The vote was counted and the results were posted in the local paper. The governor demanded a recount. Two sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of plate <laughs> of a plate of pancakes. The new tally was Miss Governor, two hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, and Duck with three hundred thousand and two. The voters had officially spoken. That's a lot of numbers. Look at that silly pancake plate. Running a state is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hairspray, ink stains, scotch tape, fingerprints, mayonnaise, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a state is no fun at all, thought Duck. That night, Duck and his staff started working on posters for the presidential election. So he's moving on up. Duck left his staff in charge and hit the campaign trail. He kissed babies in local diners. He rode in parades. He gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. He even played the saxophone on late night television. 
Do ducks play saxophones? On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the country. The vote was counted and the results were announced on CNN. Mr. President had 50,546,165 votes. But Duck had 50,546,170 votes. The president demanded a recount. Ten sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of the vice president. Look at that silly vice president. He's hiding all the ballots. The new tally was Mr. President 50,546,165 and Duck with 50,546,180. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a country is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in face powder, paper cuts, staples, security badges, secret service agents, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a country is no fun at all, thought Duck. Then he checked the help wanted ads. Duck needed no experience necessary. Must be able to mow the lawn and grind the coffee beans. Duck left the vice president in charge and headed back to the farm. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is now covered from head to toe in hay, horse hair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. And Duck, well, he's working on his autobiography. The end. That's silly, Duck. He's crazy. Well, I hope this made you laugh, and I hope you had fun reading it with me. Um, <laughs> so leave me a thumbs up if you liked that book, or a thumbs down if you didn't. You can send me a picture in the comments, or your parents can like the picture, or I don't know, whatever you're feeling. I miss you guys, and I hope you have a really great day. Bye!